Hey everyone, and welcome back to Luigi's Rank Songs! Alright guys, so if you've been paying attention and keeping up with the game, it's going to be a very exciting next few weeks and month for BBS. Uh, K-Lab is dropping a ton of new content. We're getting, on the 24th of this month, of April 24th, uh, we're getting the Super Co-op Missions, which will drop, uh, you know, Power Hearts and uh, editing brushes, Hogyoku's books, and all kinds of stuff. So, that's the thing that's going to start off the avalanche of new content. And following that, guys, we're going to get the Fulbring Ichigo Gacha with Ginjo and Uryu. And uh, in May, there's going to be uh, great login bonuses. I think there's going to be a five-star ticket and a, a four-star accessory ticket. They're adding a bunch of new accessories. They're adding a bunch of uh, nightmare mode quests. They're adding a daily um, a power heart event, which you can do once a day for a ton of power hearts. So there's a ton of stuff coming in the in the next month, and I feel like it's it's uh, we we've, we've lost sight of what's gonna happen in the next end of the month gotcha on JP because as it stands now, guys, uh, the full brain arc is done. You know the, the Ichigo, Ginjo, and Uryu gotcha should be the last full brain gotcha to uh, to come out because you know there's really no other characters uh, in that arc they could create, and that leaves open the question what's next and I did a video a couple of weeks ago uh, speculating on this very subject um, but if you caught the last K-Lab live stream where they announced uh, all the user interface changes and the new accessory information uh, they brought up the fact that they're going to be adding a human uh, killer soul trait uh, I don't know if I said that right a human killer attribute so uh, the killer attributes right now we have are uh, soul reaper, captain, uh, hollow, Arankar, and espada but now on top of that, they're going to add human. And I feel like people may have overlooked this or kind of just brushed it off as being kind of a minor detail. But guys, potentially that human, uh, that human killer attribute could be a clue as to what they're doing at the end of the month in JP. So the, the way the game is now, we only have very few human, human characters. We have uh, Chad, Orihime, and Uryu. Um, all the full bringers, which is uh, Ginjo, uh, Tsukishima, Yukio, and um, I don't know why this is skipping my mind right now. There's Giriko, and then there's Mo. Um, there might be some others I forgot. Um, but there's also uh, random metal exchange characters like Karin and Don and Kenoji. So there's a decent amount of human characters that you can make six star right now. But I, I really don't feel like, you know, if, if it's just to go back and uh, give those old characters a, a killer attribute, I really don't feel like it would have been worth the effort because now you're gonna to have to have characters that are human killers as well so um, I kind of feel like it's a hint as towards the direction of the game so if you'll bear with me guys I'm gonna throw some stuff out here this is just all purely speculation so don't go around saying that Bleach Cowboy confirmed that we're getting you know Stern Ridders um, it's far from confirmed guys but the human soul trait uh, human killer attribute is definitely a clue. Alright, so if we look at the current state of the killer attributes, uh, they're in tiers. So for the Espada side, you have the Hollow, then you have the Iron Car, and then you have the Espada. And for the uh, Soul Reaper side, you have the Soul Reaper and the Captain. And I'm assuming that the human is going to have tiers as well. So um, what does that mean? You know, uh, what are the human characters that they could do? Well, there's a couple, guys. There's a couple of groups of humans in the Bleach universe that could potentially get uh, five-star characters. So let's start off with Ichigo and his Nakama, or his uh, close group of friends. Um, these characters include his school friends like Tatsuki, Keigo, and uh, Mizuro, Mizu Mizuriro, I can't pronounce his name, and, uh, you know, Chad or Hime or you, uh, maybe even Karin and Yuzu. And, uh, you know, there's some other characters in there as well. Some random, maybe, uh, maybe Ryukin. Um, so there are a human, there is a small group of humans uh, that, uh, that is surrounding Ichigo. Um, another possibility, guys, would be the Bounce. Now, the Bounce, uh, it's not a very popular filler arc for the uh, anime, but, you know, uh, K-Lab has already done some of the anime filler, and uh, it wouldn't be a stretch to consider the Bounce to be next on the list, because they are humans, and they're, they're rolling out the new human killer attribute. And if I'm sounding repetitive, guys, uh, sorry, I'm freestyling the video. But uh, there are quite a few human characters in the Bount arc, and they could potentially go that direction as well. I don't know how hype it would be, because I don't even remember that arc, to be honest. Uh, it's not a very popular arc amongst the fandom. So, um, 
Maybe it's just, maybe if they were to do the bounce arc, it would just be for a couple of gotchas to stall for time until maybe they could do something else. And um, the third option is the one that is probably probably the least likely, and it would be the Quincy's from the manga, guys. The Stern Ritters. Uh, the Stern Ritters, they're all human. Um, well, I mean, they're human and they're Quincy's, but Quincy's are humans, so I mean, it makes sense. So if we look at the tiers of the killer attributes that I just mentioned, you could have a human, and then the next tier of that killer attribute would be the Quincy's. Now, I don't know. There's a lot of obstacles to this, and I've talked about this in the past. Uh, there's the, you know, there's the, uh, the rights to the to use that material. Um, there's the actual creation of those characters without any source material to work from, and then you'd have to cast. This is the biggest obstacle, guys. You'd have to cast uh, voice actors for all the characters. So uh, those are some pretty major hurdles for KLab to clear, and I'm not sure if they would have had time to do those things because they've already put out a ton of extra content for the month of May. Uh, you know, what with the accessory overhaul and the interface overhaul. So I don't know how stretched thin K-Lab is. Um, you know, that's only something that uh, we can speculate on. But the human killer attribute, guys, it could mean Quincy's. Uh, it could also mean Bounce or Ichigo's friends, or it could mean nothing at all. But um, there's a big gap to fill now with the uh, with the end of the full brain arc. And I just wanted to throw it out there because there is other evidence that... Um, you know, they, they, are, they might be tapping into the, uh, the final arc. Uh, if you look at the Blue Kenpachi, uh, and people have noticed this uh, besides myself, the requirements for Blue Kenpachi to be fully maxed out on his soul tree require Retsus. And Retsu and Kenpachi, they didn't even have an interaction until the final arc. So maybe that's a little Easter egg that would, uh, that would indicate Quincy's are coming. Uh, there's also the editing brush, guys. And the editing brush, you know, you might think it's like yeah it's not a big deal it's just some random thing they made up uh, but it could um, it could mean that you know maybe the royal guard because Ichibe Ichibe Ichibe's uh, weapon is a is a giant brush and if you look at the other accessories in game they're not just made up accessories guys they all have some kind of uh, existence in the anime and manga like the cookie is at ambassador seaweed uh, the glove is the glove that used uh, the Rukia used to uh, take Ichigo's spirit, uh, spirit body out of his human body. Uh, the Chappy Dispenser, the, the Rukia uses that to get out of her uh, gi, gi guy. Um, all the accessories have some basis in, in the anime or manga. So the editing brush, um, you know, it seems like a reasonable stretch to say maybe it has some kind of anime or manga related um, existence. Um, I think that's pretty much it guys. There's also some random things uh, like in the opening movie for the game and uh, thanks to James Hansen and Nerd Error for pointing this out to me. But if you watch the opening movie, there's some, uh, there are some screens of the captains and it lists their Shikai and Bankai. And on the one where it shows Yamamoto, it does actually list his Bankai being uh, Zanka no Tachi. So there's some hit, so there's some uh, little hints and Easter eggs that may point towards manga characters. I don't want to go and go ahead and say it's going to be confirmed that we're getting Stern Raiders. I mean, like I said, it could be Bounce or Ichigo's friends, or um, it could be nothing. I mean, it, it could be just a balance adjustment for those particular human characters. Um, but guys, uh, we will find out in a few days. And I feel like we've neglected to talk about it because we've been kind of swamped with all this other new content, you know, the user interface and the, the accessory changes and all of that stuff. But. Um, it's it's going to be an interesting end of the month, guys. So, um, <laughs> if if I were if I were you, if I were everyone, I would uh, save my orbs. Don't be too hasty with them. Uh, let's see what comes out on JP. Uh, definitely go for the full bring Ichigo, but keep in mind there might be a whole new arc for the game. And if it does happen, guys, it is on, baby. I'm going to be hyped as fuck. You guys all should be hyped as fuck. It means Brave Souls is going to continue. I think Ray Souls is going to continue regardless of whether they go into the final arc or not, because as we can tell from now, you know they're still they're they're pumping out new changes to the game like left and right. You know it's almost in, it's almost too much to keep track of, uh, to be honest. Like, and I like devote my YouTube channel to this game, so if it's tough for me to keep track of all the updates and changes and uh, additions to the game, um, K Lab is not short on ideas. All right, guys, so. Sorry I rambled on for so long. Um, I didn't really organize my thoughts that well before making this video, but um, hopefully you, you have something to think about and you know, let's pray for those those Stern Ritters guys. But 
if we don't get them, you know, that doesn't mean that we're never going to get them. Uh, you know, I'm sure whatever K-Lab comes up with will be amazing. Um, all right, guys, so that's enough talking from me. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's start a discussion. Leave your thoughts in the comments, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.